Hey guys, uh, I've been getting uh, a couple questions on uh, another channel I used to comment, because I don't know, I just used two channels, on um, uh, my overclocking. And I know this guy came across a, an overclock in a GT640M for NVIDIA, and he had a bit of trouble because he had a GT640 like me. Uh, and I'm posting this video mainly to him, but for all you people who want to get into the overclocking business of a uh, graphic cards, it's not as hard. Now, I'm not going to say I'm good at it. Last time I got a bit confident, tried to overclock my uh, i7-3770, I ended up needing a motherboard switch. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so, uh, Patrick, if you're watching this, yeah, this is mainly for you. I've got four different profiles for my graphics card. So, uh, first of all, you'd want to get MSI Afterburner. This is like the most important thing in the world. Where is it? Here's mine. Uh, I'll leave a link to the website in the description. Doesn't matter which one you get, just get the latest one. Uh, yeah, so basically, it'll start off by giving you this one. Where is it? User interface. It's going to give you the default, which is a uh, good, but I like using the, the other one. It's going to give you, yeah, don't touch the powers unless you know what you're doing do not touch the powers i don't know i haven't i haven't touched it this is what you're going to talk about but first of all before you start that you're going to go to settings you're going to click the arrow and you're going to go user interface you go click and you're going to go the legacy edition now you got a shader clock now i uh, as you can see my one i always this is like a really intense um, test setup I use. As you can see, the memory clock here, this is uh, the bit that people aren't really sure whether to put really high or leave a bit less. I tried putting it high. Uh, the only issues is GPU temperature. You don't want your graphics card going over 90 degrees Celsius for a long period of time. So I uh, kind of even it out. I put it a bit low like this. This is default. This is what, when you get your GPU out of the box or with the PC, this is what it's going to come in. This is like GT640 standard. Uh, I hear the, the GT uh, might be, I don't know what it's around, but the newer graphics card, their default is 900 for their core clocks. So yeah, you'll be stepping up quite a notch. Anyway, so you've gotten your MSI Afterburner and you've set up your Legacy Skin Edition, you know, what you're going to look at is your GPU temperature, GPU usage, your fan speed, <laughs> excuse me, your fan speed, and yeah, that's all you really got to worry about. G mainly GPU temperature and fan speed. What you're going to do is, this is for a GT640, guys. What you're going to do is you're going to, so set it to the Legacy Edition. Then you're going to uh, up it. You're going to up your core clock. Now, uh, after my experiments, I realized that 900 is a reasonably stable core clock. Of course, if you don't feel comfortable or you keep getting crashes, you can, of course, lower it. You guys can experiment with higher. It It's really about experimentation, but I found that 900, you set the core clock to 900, is the most stable. And your shader clock will, because it's linked, follow. So you don't have to set that separately. You can, of course, set this a bit lower or higher, depending on what you feel comfortable with or what you want to experiment with. There's no harm in experimenting because uh, these don't affect startup or shutdown. So if your computer does crash and shut down, uh, other than potential loss of data, nothing bad will really happen because unless you click Apply Overclocking at start System Startup, which I highly recommend you never do, just just in case, one day your GPUs have enough of overclocking, and uh, yeah. Anyway, then you're going to want to take your memory clock, which is uh, at 800, and you're going to increase it to 890. You can probably go up to 990, but that's like really not good for your GPU temperature. Let's have a look. I've set my fan speed to automatic 100 because I know it's going to step up. And if I was to run something like Where's combustor? The GPU combustor. Where's combustor? I need to reorganize my desktop. Anyway, 
uh, things like uh, combustor or any games, I've noticed that my GPU temperature will just <laughs> instantly. All right, like even with this, I'm playing Diablo three on uh, these uh, settings, and the GPU is going like uh, seventy nine, eighty, eighty five. You know, this is blitzing itself. Shut up, fan. So loud. Um. Anyway, so you're gonna set it to these settings, and by the end, you should have it on auto. You should have it on a uh, eight ninety memory clock, shader clock, core clock. This should work. Uh, of course, I cannot say that this will work for every single bloody GT six forty out there. Of course, there are some where it won't work. There are some where it will work, and there are some where you're gonna be ready to go a bit higher. So yeah, these are my recommended settings and the settings I run by. I uh, I only turn this to this settings when I'm playing games. If I'm not, I always set it back to the default. This increases the lifetime of the GPU. You know, because keeping it on an overclocked means more power is going to be running through it. It's going to be moving spastically. You can, of course, uh, play around with underclocking, which is meant to increase the lifespan of the GPU. But uh, I think the default is enough lifespan for me. So yeah, uh, in conclusion, ooh, it's an essay. Get your MSI afterburner and set it to the settings I said before. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment. If you enjoyed it, you know, give it a like. Share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, your YouTube, your Google+. Plus. Uh, God knows what are the so social networking softwares are out there. Uh, networking sites are out there, not softwares, what the hell am I talking about? Don't forget to watch my other YouTube videos and anyone else's YouTube videos, because heck, who doesn't love more YouTube? Anyway, Jolly Smash out.